So I think Detroit has brilliant students. I just want them to be equipped with everything they need to sustain this city and move it forward. I think young people should be represented. They should feel connected to their education. They should feel that, you know, I'm learning this stuff because it relates to me. So I think the education system should be constantly evolving. And so what the education should be doing is equipping the mind with the tools to be able to solve those problems in the present and in the future. When I found Umoja Debate League, it was a bunch of different variables at play. Um, for one, I wanted to give something to middle schoolers. I think that for myself personally, that's when I kind of began to understand the world a little bit, have opinions. And so I wanted to target that sixth through eighth grade range to really get them to start thinking critically about issues. So that was like the main thing that I wanted to focus on that age group. And then ultimately I took debate myself in high school and I always tell the story. I was somewhat of a shy kid, um, but 10th grade at Renaissance kind of changed all of that for me. It gave me confidence to do what I do now. And I didn't really understand it at the moment, um, but you know, fast forward maybe six years, 2020, um, and I was kind of reflecting during the pandemic on how I got some of the skills that I had and some of the leadership capabilities that I had acquired at that point. And debate was the root. There was no space for middle school debaters in the city of Detroit. And so I wanted to fill that void. And that's how we kind of got started with the league. We started this program, this organization three years ago uh, with the intent to teach kids critical thinking, self-expression skills, confidence building skills, and other transferable life skills. And debate is our vehicle to do that. The vision statement starting off for Umoja is to create a pipeline for lawyers, leaders, and change makers. And we're talking about the youth. Um, and so we, we get them at sixth grade. So just in a nutshell, we can go much, much deeper with the increased literacy, um, becoming better readers, writers, speakers, listeners. Um, a plethora of different transferable life skills debate bring, but those are just a few. You know, that's why Umoja exists to kind of get us there outside of the direct education system. So I think that they should look at this, the education as relevant, uh, whether that's community relevant and culturally relevant. Um, and they should have just a, a connection to it. They need to be able to articulate themselves and understand things and think critically about any issue that comes before them. And that plays a role in what I think education should be overall. Um, we should be preparing the youth to solve the problems that exist now, but furthermore in the future. So my motivation is the, is the youth of Detroit. I often call myself a native son of Detroit, and I truly believe that we have some of the brightest kids. If we create that platform for them, they will show us that they are some of the brightest kids. And so my motivation is to continue to create that platform for them to be whatever they want to be, whether that's lawyers, leaders, change makers, or anything. Detroit is a vibrant city of love and care and soul, right? It's a city that has a lot of self-determination and when we see an issue, we want to solve it. Our goal is to foster more youth leadership, for them to see themselves at a podium, speak in their mind on a topic that they've researched, they're passionate about, they feel strongly about. And so with that empowerment, that is what you know, leaders are made of, um, to be able to think critically, make tough decisions, um, articulate yourself. That's our whole entire formula of what we're trying to do is create more young leaders. So working together in tandem is essential for you know, youth to actually progress and for education in general um, to progress, thinking critically about them, engaging with you know, other people, teamwork, all the things that we do here at Umoja will translate into the leaders of tomorrow. <laughs>